in commemoration of this year's World Bipolar Day, which was held on March 30th. Oluwa Tumishe Oladakbo Kuku, a mental health advocate, hosted friends and families to launch her maiden book, Living Mindfully, A Journey to Being. Living Mindfully is a sub-memoir of the author who is a bipolar patient. In the book, the author, a broadcast journalist turned certified life coach, shared how she navigated her path despite all odds. In his keynote address, Dr. Emmanuel Abayomi, a mental health specialist, debunked the common myth associated with mental illness, which he tagged, Tales by Moonlight. People with mental illnesses are subnormal. They are not normal. Of course, you know that is largely incorrect. It's as funny and as illogical as saying that because you have a fever, you are subnormal. No, it is not. Or say because you have hypertension, you're subnormal. No, it is not. Another tale by moonlight goes this way. Don't marry someone who has a mental illness. If one parent has a mental illness, the likelihood that the offspring will have a mental illness is less than 7% as a matter of fact. That's for schizophrenia. The guests have to be in advice to find their haven despite challenging hustle and bustle when entertained with good music. And then the book was launched in an unconventional way. You will not hear at the venue of the launch of the book written by Oluwa Tsunishi and Kuku. You will hear in the living room helping to hold in your hands a baby covered in venix coating. This baby is only a book now, but as growth comes, the baby we are all here to around is a movement to help those with all kinds of mental health questions. The book then becomes that movement that will offer a sanctuary to those running away from condemnation, who need someone to talk to, find them a place of refuge, and who, like the Phoenix, will experience new births from the ashes of the mind. Welcome to the launch of Living Mindfully, The Journey to Being. The author, who described the book as a documentary of her life, spoke about the purpose of launching the book and encouraged guests and readers to embrace their true selves. The intention is to invite you not just to buy the book and support Uluwatsu Mishi, your friend, your family, and, but to challenge you to be brave. Brave enough to sit with yourself and have a conversation with yourself. The purpose is to see if you can begin to understand why you wear the guards that you wear, the shields that you wear every time you face a day. This book is an offshoot of all the work I and the great people in my corner. One of the guests, Dr. Ifoma Okogu, while encouraging Nigerians to be bold enough to ask for help concerning their mental health, explained that writing can be a healing process. One of the things that you will find when people are seeing their therapists is that they encourage them to write. Okay, So it actually is a healing process. The author also attested to this in a final note on the occasion. I would encourage people, you don't have to share with the world, you can share with your friends, but you can pick a suit because there's a, there, there is a relief that comes with the fact that there's someone you're sharing with, that someone can be you, yourself. Pick a pen, pick a pencil, it's still dope by the way to write with a pen and pencil. Just write it, it just feels beautiful to write it yourself. Aladak Wakuku revealed that a sequel to the 67-page book will be out soon. Thank <laughs> you.